Hi, my name is Juan Luis Prado. In this video, I will explain to you step by step about the whole process with a slimmer me. From the moment you apply for surgery, arrive at our facilities and return home. Fill the application. Please visit www.jlprado.se.com. Under the Bariatric Services, you will find the application you must fill out in order to get approved for surgery. Welcome letter. At the moment you send your application, you will receive a letter with information about our packages, cancellation policy, and other important information that you must read. Don't forget to check your spam mail as the letter could have gone there. Phone call. One of our coordinators will get in contact with you to give detailed information about any doubts you might have. Approval. Our doctors will approve you for surgery depending on the medical history from your application. Payment information. Once your application is approved, you will receive an email with payment information. To lock in a surgery date, we will require a 10% deposit or transfer of the package cost you choose. Scheduling the procedure. Once the deposit is made, you can take a picture of your deposit slip and email it to your coordinator so you can begin the scheduling process. Flight information. Once the date is locked in, you will have to purchase your flight tickets to the San Diego International Airport and send that information to your coordinator so she can document your arrival and departure on our logistics chart. Once you send your flight itinerary, you will receive pickup indications from our transportation department. You will also receive information about what to pack on your trip over here. Preoperative diet. You will need to do a special diet before surgery. This diet could go from three days, one week, or two weeks. That will depend on how high or low your BMI is. You will lose weight as a collateral effect, but the main purpose of this diet is to shrink the liver so the doctor can maneuver with no difficulty when performing the gastric sleeve and diminish possible complications. Transportation. The day of your arrival to the San Diego International Airport, our driver will pick you up to take you all the way across the border to our facilities where we will be waiting to perform all the corresponding pre-op evaluations. Surgical Center. Once you arrive at JL Prado Surgical Center, you will be taken to our main reception. Our assistants will give you some forms and consents you must read, fill out, and signed to get to the next step. If you have not done it yet, the rest of your surgery balance needs to be paid to continue your process. Preoperative evaluations. One of our assistants will take you to the nurse station where one of our nurses will receive you and make the necessary preparations for the cardiologist's evaluation and blood work, as well as the spirometry and endoscopy tests. Important note. Depending on the times, our medical nutritionist could be consulting you at this point or further on at the recovery house. Cardiac Evaluation Our cardiologist will ask you some questions and perform an electrocardiogram. Blood work One of our nurses will put an IV in one of your veins. With this, we will be able to pass serums and medications indicated by the doctor. From here, a little blood will be drawn so the lab can analyze it and we can have a routinary preoperative result. Speedometry. Our specialist will do a breathing test to see the lung capacity. It consists on doing inspirations and expirations at a certain rhythm and intensity. Endoscopy. This is done with a small sedation. The endoscope is introduced through the mouth all the way to the first portion of the duodenum to explore for any ulcers, diverticula, polyps, or any other condition that may complicate the surgical procedure. If a hiatal hernia is found, it will be repaired by the doctor at no extra cost. This test is pain-free. Hotel. Once the pre-op evaluations are done, 
Our driver will take you to the hotel across the street where you will spend the night. You will be given instructions about what to eat and what time you need to be at the hotel lobby to get picked up the next day. Surgery Day Our driver will pick you from the hotel and take you to JL Prado Surgical Center where everything will be prepared for your surgery. Recovery Once the surgery is done, you will be approximately one hour in the recovery area. Then, you will be transferred to your room where the nurses will help you to walk and will assist you at all times that you require them. Here, you will spend the second night. Day after surgery. Our driver will take you to perform a gastrography at the X-ray facility. Once the leak test is done, you will be taken to the recovery house where you will be assisted by our staff. Gastrography. It's a very simple pain-free test to see the new stomach and make sure there is no leak. You will drink a contrast medium and through fluoroscopy you can see on a monitor the drawing of your stomach. Recovery House The recovery house has 24-hour nurses and doctors who will be on guard to assist you. Our sports doctor will be visiting to consult you. Therefore, if our medical nutritionist wasn't able to consult you back at the surgical center, she will come to the recovery house to do so. A second leak test is performed in the evening. Here, you will spend the third night. Discharge. The doctor will give you a folder with post-op indications. This includes a post-op diet, healing manual, meds indications, and a prescription. One of our nurses will remove the IV and drain bag. She will change the incision dressings and now you are ready to go home. Healing Manual This is the information about how to take care of your incisions at home. Meds Indications This is the information about how to take your medications. Duration in days, hours, and what they're for. Back to the airport. Our driver will pick you up at the recovery house to take you back to the San Diego International Airport. You will cross the border to the United States, so you need a passport or a birth certificate with a valid ID like a driver's license. I hope this video has cleared your doubts from the beginning to the end. And remember, if you have any other questions, don't forget to contact your coordinator.